Okay, so think about that. She bought two packs, right, of three t-shirts. Her dad buys three packs of two t-shirts. How many t-shirts did each of Ava's parents buy? Okay, so I want you guys thinking about each of those separate things. Okay, so you're gonna actually have two separate models. So you're gonna have one for her mom, right? And then one for her dad. So I want you guys to see if you can draw a model to show you that, okay? So mom bought two packs of three t-shirts. I'm gonna show you how I would do that, okay? Here's one pack. Here's two packs. I'm going to use a uh, quick drawing. What did you say? Two packs of three. Two, three. All right, there's my quick drawing. Your raises might be much better than mine, and that's okay. And if you don't even wanna draw t-shirts, you wanna represent it a different way, that's also okay. But somehow you are showing two packs of three, and then her dad is three packs of two. Mm -hmm. Right now you are drawing your models to show what Ava's mom bought and what Ava's dad bought. So take a minute to draw that. If you want to copy mine, you can. If you want to draw your own, you can. But I'm going to give you, we'll take one more minute to draw your model. Looking, see if I see people still drawing. Ooh, I see somebody in the chat who's figured it out. All right, I'm gonna pick on a couple people to call. So first is, all right, let's see, William. William, can you tell me how many shirts Ava's mom bought? William. William, how many shirts did Ava's mom buy? Mm. All right, friends, you need to make sure you are here when I call on you or you cannot get credit for doing math today. So I'm gonna spin again. I need to make everyone turn their cameras on. I'm gonna have to do that. Um, let's see, Jasmine. Jasmine, how many shirts did Ava's mom buy? If you look here, how many shirts did she buy? Six. Good. Six shirts, right? Thank you, Jasmine. Okay, next up, we're gonna look at Ava's dad, okay? How many shirts did Ava's dad buy? Beckham. Beckham, how many shirts did Ava's dad buy? You can always use my picture. 
Trying to find your camera on here. Mm -hmm. Beckham, are you there? Okay, we're gonna keep going. I know a lot of you are telling me the answer in the chat, which is really great, but I wanna go through my random here so I can see who's paying attention and who's not. Chris, how many shirts did his dad buy? Six. Six, okay, perfect. So if we look, her mom bought six, her dad bought six. Did they buy the same packs though? They didn't, but even though it was two packs of three and three packs of two, they both bought six shirts, okay? So if you turn the page to page 184, okay? We're gonna talk about what that means, okay? So here it says write two multiplication equations to show how many t-shirts Ava's mom and dad buy. How are the equations alike and different? So if we look, mom bought two groups of three and got six, and her dad got three packs or groups of two, but also got six, okay? And I just had somebody tell me in the chat that they just switched the numbers. So they use the same factors, they use two and three. And when you use the same factors and multiply them together, you get the same product, okay? So because they're the same factors or numbers, you get the same product, okay? So if we kind of skip down to here, okay, this is our question. Jaden buys four boxes of hot dogs. Each box has two packs. Each pack has five hot dogs. That was a lot of numbers, so I'm gonna go through and circle. We have four boxes of hot dogs. Each box has two packs, and each pack has five hot dogs. How many hot dogs did she buy? Okay, so we're looking through here. We've got boxes, right? One, two, three, four, four boxes. Each box has two packs. So that's four times two. Gonna go through and my wheel is choosing that Bryce. Bryce, if she has four boxes with two packs in each one, how many packs are there? What's um, two? Four times two is eight. Thank you, Bryce. So that means there are eight packs, okay? And remember, in each pack, there are five hot dogs. So now we're solving four times two times five. So we already said here, Bryce told me that four times two is eight. So if I were to break this apart, eight times five equals what, Aria? What is eight times five? It's okay if you give me a minute to count. Yep, that's fine. Take your time. You can come back on me later. Okay, so someone tell me. So remember, we're counting by five, eight times. So someone can put it in the chat if they get there. Before me, we have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Good, I had a couple people in the chat tell me 40, which is right, okay? So in the end, eight packs of hot dogs, right? And there's five, in each pack there's five, so that tells us that in all, she bought 40. But there's one more way we can look at it, okay? Instead of doing four boxes with two packs in each box, we can think of it this way. There are two packs of hot dogs, and in each pack, there are five hot dogs. So now let's figure out how many hot dogs in the two packs, 
Okay, so somebody in the chat tell me, because for time's sake, we're going to do it this way. What's two times five? Good, thank you, Aditri, 10. Okay. And then we talked about, she got four boxes though, right? So we're going to do four times 10. Somebody in the chat, tell me what's four times 10. Good, I've seen it from a couple people. 40. Do we get the same answer both times? Did we use the same factors? Right? We just changed the order. Four times two times five is the same as two times five times four. Okay? Same numbers, different order, get the same answer. Okay, so your job in your groups today is to do page 190, okay? So there's just three questions, seven, eight, and nine, okay? 190, so remember,